All right, guys, I'm going to make this real short because I've already recorded this like three times, and the first two times I recorded it, both times, it only captured about a quarter of my screen the entire time, and it was really aggravating to have to keep doing this over and over again. I've never actually uh, used OBS, so it's a learning curve for me. Uh, I did not expect that at all. Uh, so I finally got it working. So if you come over to Glow 3D, uh, go to up here to the center, close set. Uh, it'll bring you to this screen, and uh, you can go to start now. It'll ask you to sign in, and when it when you do, it'll bring you to this screen. Now, in the upper right of this screen, you select this icon, and it'll bring you to this screen. And then you can go to show more. It'll bring you to the store. Select free, and you can add all these to your your cart, and then download them all at once, or you can just uh, select the ones that you want. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of good ones in here, uh, so yeah, I recommend checking them out. If you scroll down here about 75% of the way through the uh, page, you'll see the Velvet Skirt that I uh, downloaded, and I'm going to give you a, a brief walkthrough of how to get it from here uh, to here uh, to here, and then get it to look like this. So I've already done this about four times. Uh, the physics part of it. Uh, I'll show you a, a quick trick on the weight ping as well. Uh, whenever you first load this up, it'll, uh, if you, one second, let me go back to, the, this is the screen that you'll see. So I deleted uh, that sash uh, or that thing that was hanging down uh, in the front because when you try to weight paint uh, with it on, uh, it doesn't show the weight paints for it, even though there are weight paints on it. I don't know why it's a uh, some issue that character creator has. Uh, so, so what you'll do is you'll select uh, you'll select this all of it after you've uh, deleted that off the front of it, and uh, you can if you want that you can ex export it as a separate object. Uh, but over here at, under the properties, go to particle distance and turn this from five up to twenty. I believe by default it's five, and uh, and I use remesh because uh, it gives it somewhat of a, a topology uh, to it. It kind of retopologizes it to some degree. Well, of course, there at the seams you'll see that there's triangles, so that's not ideal for like a studio or whatever. You might get in trouble if you did something like that. But if you're doing this at home, you know who cares. Uh, so so select remesh it'll change it from triangle to quad and it'll uh it'll remesh it like this for you so over here if you come over here to the fabrics uh delete the texture and the normal off of it and go to the color right below it and select white and do that on both of them and you'll see why we're going to do that it'll make uh creating our our physics map a lot easier so this is just going to be mostly about physics, but I'll show you a trick that I've learned recently and how to uh, get these uh, separated uh, easier. So after you've uh, loaded loaded it up over here, then uh, you can uh, come down here and it, it'll be a lot more stretched out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load it again. Uh, under create and accessories and under skirt I'll go ahead and load up the skirt again and I'll move that up so that nobody gets offended even though there's nothing there really but a bump so I'll delete the uh, old skirt and uh, I'll Put her back in the T pose, which is what I exported her as to fit her for this. And we'll line that up. I think I just made it worse. But yeah, I did. So I just need to come back more. Oops. It needs to come down. Back. Down. And there we go. 
so we're going to come over here we're gonna go to transfer skin weights this is gonna uh, map the vertexes uh, to the uh, bones that are close to it uh, on the in the documents it says uh, to use dress for the skirt so I'm gonna use dress to for the transfer weight then I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna come over here to checking pose we're gonna uh, this is what you're gonna see now if we come over here to but beside paint it'll say selection and uh, what you can do is you can come over here and you might have to do this one by one uh, it's yeah I know it's gonna be tedious but uh, for these the little straps like this uh, that's what you're gonna have to do so you're gonna grow that I'm gonna hide the bone and uh, go up one more I'm gonna go all the way up to the base here to where they all connect right here and I wanna make sure both of, both of these are selected and it's gonna show three bones under here for each one that that's uh, has a weight distributed on it and we're gonna select this smooth tool right here until and what we want to do is these parts that are uh, orange we want this to be closer to that color so this is going from black to blue to green to yellow to orange to red to white and that's how it's uh, the weights are distributed so white being meaning that uh, it's not going to move from that position the vertex uh, it's not going to move uh, far away from that uh, so I think whenever you get it into the white I think it will actually remove any other weights from it uh, in that area so I could be wrong but I believe that's what what happens so what you what you want to do is you want to get you want to get this seam straightened out and it might be fairly straight right off the bat so uh, that's why we're going to do it one by one since the outsides look fine and the insides aren't too bad we're going to go from this one that's stretched far out and we're going to work our way in uh, this way <clears throat> and then we're going to come over here and do the same thing that way these ones that are hiding behind these won't get all uh, screwed up so we're just going to do that and I'm just going to show you how to do it with one so I'm just going to go through here and smooth these out a little for each one of these and sometimes it'll have bones affecting these that won't show up here I don't know why it's supposed to show all the bones that are affecting these vertexes so I'll close oops no I didn't want to do that oops I did <laughs> I messed up again all right uh, let's go back into the skin weight hopefully the selection is still there no it's, no it is not so I'm gonna come back over here I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna increase it hide the bone and hold down control and I accidentally unselected that one because I clicked and dragged other rather than just clicking and releasing. Okay, so uh, while with that, so we got that selected, so we can come back to it afterwards. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come back out. All right, you're not going to come out of skin weights. You're going to go from selection to paint, and uh, make sure your bones aren't hidden over here. And uh, right click on it. So if you go over here, let's see. It's only showing the white bone, uh, the right bones. So what we want to do is obviously one of these bones is pulling these vertexes this way. So you want to go back into paint mode and right click on that bone and you'll see that this is blue. It probably shouldn't be pulling on this from that far away. So we'll just uh, select the minus tool and minus that off of there and then we'll select the uh, if you look right there you'll see a little 
it's kind of hard to see but you'll see a little circle if you right click on it that's the kneecap that's probably pulling on it too and we'll remove this from here too anyway you don't really have to worry about all the other ones until you get around to them if you keep doing that like that then they'll get all all messed up and they'll be behind each other and twisted and it'll be a mess and you'll have a hard time separating them so just like these bones and remove these weights just like that bone remove that weight now it's straight and you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna want to go through here and every time you're gonna have to go and slide the bottom pieces and I messed this one up already like I said that's why you don't want to do that but uh, you want to select both of these at the bottom and grow these all the way up to the top I want to hide that so you can see it better and I can see it better and it's right there right now so I'm going to hold down control and select that one as well and uh, that's pretty much it don't like <clears throat> if this is orange you don't want this to be red but you don't want it to be uh, too far off from that color either like you don't want it to be too yellow or too green to where it's almost green and and that's what you want to do but you want to make sure that these are evenly spaced out so you want these to be distributed evenly across here it's okay if in this position if you get a little bit of stretching uh, around the center uh, but you want to try to get it so that so that these lines are evenly spaced out you don't want them to be zigzagging back and forth so you you don't want them to be zigzagging you want them to be smooth you want it to be smooth like it is right here you want it to be like that throughout the entire mesh as much as possible and that's basically what you're gonna do after you after you do that uh, you're gonna uh, uh, bring it over here to iClone you're gonna import it you know set your dance or whatever you want to set under here to your uh, model and uh, then select your skirt come over here to materials uh, or physics it doesn't matter you can open up the weight map uh, select your defuse and launch it uh, and I've applied this to it from the last one but this this is basically what we're gonna do and uh, this is uh what you what exported as the the defuse or albedo uh and marvelous designer that's why i wanted you to make it white because it's going to give it a black background and if you make one black then you won't be able to see these and it'll make it a lot harder i learned that the hard way so you're going to come over here you're going to go to, uh let's see i put mine under here and you're going to come over here to where it was and you're going to open up that skirt defuse uh, and you're going to make two uh, three layers the first one is going to be the background layer the second one is going to be uh, the bottom layer and if you don't know how to do that there's a button down here a plus button called create a new layer and that's how I'm making the layers 
and then this one's going to be the top layer and uh, so on the background layer we're going to paint that solid black then we're going to hide it over here and uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to select this magic wand tool you can use GIMP if you don't have if you don't have Photoshop you can use GIMP it works the same way select all of these press control C go to your top layer and press control V uh, go back to the background layer the bottom background layer not like the original one not the uh, new one we created and you're going to select these bottom ones and you're going to press control V oops wait you're going to press control C uh, with the background with that layer selected first you're going to press control C then you're going to go to your bottom layer and press control V and uh, that's what we got now so we're going to unhide the solid black background layer if we uh, if we don't make a solid black background layer then some of the white from the original one will bleed through the edges of our gradient and we don't want that because it'll mess up our physics so you'll you'll hold down control and left click the icon next to the bottom layer uh, the square icon and it'll, it'll select them all in the viewport then you'll come over here to gradient and what this is is all of this is mapped to a, to a UV so uh, whenever it whenever it decides how the physics uh, reacts uh, the black is going to be controlled by the rigid body and the white is going to be controlled by the physics uh, the soft physics or soft cloth or whatever you want to call it soft body uh, physics so hold down control and that's probably a little too much so I'll go farther down I want it to be a softer gradient that that's probably a good soft gradient so I'm going to hold down control and click the top layer to get the top layer and we're going to want it to be a dark uh, gray to black near the bottom uh, oops make sure the top layer is selected over here or it'll paint it on the wrong layer you don't want that and we'll just we'll just uh, experiment with this that's probably good in fact that might be too bright for the top layer but we'll we can adjust the brightness of it inside of uh, iClone so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and hide uh, the bottom layer and you're gonna go to file export quick export as PNG and you're gonna come over here uh, and you're gonna I named mine top physics weight map but you can name yours whatever you want and then I want to hide the top layer and unhide the bottom layer you can press control D to deselect that but it doesn't matter it's not going to export with it so come over here name yours I named mine uh, bottom physics weight map name yours whatever uh, come over here into iClone uh, double click on uh, the weight map and I have the, so the top one selected so I'm going to load that one in and then I'm going to go to the bottom one, load the bottom in, and then we'll, uh, it's uh, sagging a little bit, so that means it's too bright, which means that there's too much of the soft body physics uh, being uh, too much soft uh, collision uh, physics is, uh, so too much soft uh, physics is is affecting it so it's it's dragging so we'll turn the brightness down just a little bit right there on the top one and we'll turn it down a little on the bottom one you have to experiment with uh, the brightness so that looks a little bit better so we'll, we're gonna go back uh, we're gonna turn this one we're gonna turn the straps down make them a little darker And see that don't look bad so I could even maybe experiment with this one maybe even if you turn it if you turn it up too high you see how the rest the rest the black turns a grayish color that means that it's gonna 
that this is going to be affected by the by uh, the soft uh, physics, and it'll yeah, it'll do that. And so, if if you want it to be brighter, if you want this to be more affected by the physics than it is, then you're gonna have to come back over here and to photo, uh, Photoshop, and you're gonna ha have to. Uh, Oh, also, if you get this weird uh, outline on the outside of it, it might be best to remove that. I'll show you how to do that. So an easy way to remove that is to go back to your uh, uh, your backup layer. That's why we created it. And we'll select... Oop. I got the wrong layer selected. Select the, back, the background layer and select all of those. And then go back to your top layer on the item press control shift plus control plus shift plus I that'll invert it you can also uh, go over to selection and go to inverse and then uh, press delete maybe once or twice and uh, that should remove most of it if not you can also uh, undo that and go to selection and go to uh, contract one pixel and control shift I again or oh, no my bad yeah that should be yeah just skip that part we actually needed to contract it so I'll contract it two pixels this time no I was going the right way okay so you'll start off like this you go up here to selection go to modify go to contract uh, one pixel then you'll press control shift I and press delete a couple of times and then uh, press control plus D and now it's gone so if we wanted this to be different we'll hide that layer and then we'll hold down control and select that layer and we'll redo the gradient so let's say I wanted it to be more like like that if we make it too much then it's gonna be it's gonna have too much physics on it and we really don't want that but I'm just gonna demonstrate this to you So see it's jiggling a little. Actually it don't look too bad, but you see it's kind of buckling near the bottom. Uh, and it's clipping through a little too. See that's what happens. It's a really it's a really tight skirt and you probably don't want it to be affected by physics, but that's how you would do that if you if you wanted that. Also you can choose your material over here and your elasticity and bending and all that but you can also turn the brightness of this down as well so it's uh, so it'll look better and also that that might help to some of the the weird uh, uh, skin paint issues that you might have with it uh, where it makes funny shapes in certain places See, I made that a little darker. Maybe I'll make it a little lighter. <laughs> See, now stretches it out. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. You want this to actually be pretty dark, actually. Well, it depends on your gradient. It's not really that dark. It's uh, just negative 34. But I don't like uh, this, so I'm going to turn it way down. And 
there we go. We're right back at where we were. All right. Well, I'm going to get this out here. Y'all have a nice day.